Hey guys, I'm Lucy, and thank you so much for coming back to another episode on Lucy TV. And today is Sunday, so we all know today is Get Personal with Lucy. Yes. I'm going to be sharing with you some of my favorite relationship quotes. So if you guys want to hear my thoughts, and maybe I'll say, I'll share a little bit of story time if it relates to the quote. But yeah, if you guys want to are interested in continuing seeing the video, please continue watching the video. Here goes my intro. I found them on Google and I thought they were very relatable. So yeah. That was my chips. So I'm going to be sharing with you guys this. Okay, so the first one would be... The first one that I really... This quote that I really like. The title says... Oh, let me use my glasses. <laughs> Sorry. My... Oh, snap. Okay. It's... Um, you can't just give up on someone. Which is... For real. You just can't give up on someone can't just give up on someone because the situation is not ideal you can't just give up on someone because the situation is not ideal great relationships are not great because they have no problems they are great because both people care enough about the other person to find a way to make it work so yes this is something i live by this is something that i think a lot of people in this generation have forgotten. It's more of a, of you make a mistake, you've hurt me, you've this and that, bye. I understand that. I understand if someone does something that hurts you a lot, like for quote unquote, someone cheated on you. There are, there are certain, um, borderline so if you cross that borderline of course you can't stick with that person all the time unless you're willing to it depends on the person so it depends on everyone but for instance for me i believe that two people should work out their differences there's going to be problems there's going to be disagreements there's going to be things like that in a relationship something the other person does that annoys you or something that you do that annoys them you guys have to talk about it you can't just not talk about it that's where again communication comes in oh yeah so like i was saying people just give up and that's not healthy because if one person if a, if a person hurts you or a person does something and you're just like oh no i'm gonna give up bye bye see you later i'm gonna look for another one there's never going to be that perfect person there's never going to be that person that's going to check everything in your checklist. There's going to be something that they are going to do that's going to annoy you, that's going to blah, blah, blah. But this is where you open up and say, hey, listen, you made me feel or not you. I've learned not to like say, oh, you did this, you did that, because then the per other person gets offensive. But you would have to say like, hey, listen, um, I felt that so and so so and so so and so and so and so and then just work it out and if it's not if you can't work it out then the really then it's not it's not for you guys the, uh, look what i did the relationship is not for you guys if you guys can't communicate if you guys can't work through the hardship then it's not going to work which reminds me of a relationship i had my first love actually i always kept trying and trying and trying i was the one trying was trying 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 i mean he did try but it wasn't to the point where it was mostly like you know we were working together it was mostly of like i'm the one that's trying to keep the relationship together and sometimes that just makes you tired and just gotta give it let, let it go if the other person a quote unquote if the other person is not willing to work with it with work with it work with you 
and help you and listen to you and understand you. That was the point, right? I'm all over the place, sorry. So this, the next quote actually relates to what I touched up upon, the first one that I said. So it says right here, we're a team. We're a team. Whatever you lack, I got you. We will balance each other out. Minor setback, question mark. Guess we'll make a better comeback. Bad day, well, I promise you a better night. You need support, I'll be your backbone. I'll keep you motivated and at the top, always. As long as you appreciate me and remain consistent, you don't ever have to doubt my loyalty. You got me, I got us. Yes. When you're in a relationship, you're a team. And no, I don't want to talk about the whole who pays, this pays, all about financials. This is a different topic and um, it's a very touchy topic. But it depends on the way you view things and the way you grew up and just overall depends on you, right? So I'm not going to get, I'm not going to touch up on that because it's a sensitive topic. But if you want me to talk about that, please let me know in the comment section below. But yeah, overall, in a relationship... Okay, no, hold on. You have to be there to support one another. You guys are a team. It just sucks that some relationships are... the two. Both of them are too independent. I think it's better to have a nice balance between being somewhat dependent on the person and being independent for yourself. So when you're together, you depend on each other, not to make each other happy, but to be happy together. You heard the difference? Um, people nowadays get into relationships to be happy or to become happier or to find that happiness that they're missing. And it's something that I have fought in because I definitely was looking, always looking for a partner to make me happy. But now I know that I'm just, you have to be happy for yourself. And this is something that when you're younger, you can't really grasp until you really wake up and think, wait a damn minute. All my relationships keep failing. All my relationships keep doing this. This is a consistent kind of thing. What is the common denominator? Well, you, honey, that's the sad truth. It was me. I was the common denominator. So you have to realize that you have to be happy for yourself in order to be happy with another person and then that you guys have to be you guys have to work together together yeah it's hard to find that partner in crime per, per se um but you also have also in a partner you have to uh you have to listen listen you just don't listen to respond that's i hate that just to listen to respond dude listen to me i just need you to listen please but i guess we just have to be more vocal about that but yeah and this is a really cool quote this is something that is very 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 nice to have and not everybody has it but if you do have it I'm happy for you so number three Ah, here we go. Uh, relationships get stronger when both of you are willing to understand mistakes and forgive each other. Exactly. And this one is the same. You listen to understand, to try to understand. You ask questions to try and understand why they did this. What's the reason for it? But unfortunately, people don't want to do that and they just want to listen to respond and to just, just respond and that sucks. Um, that's why in my other video, in, um, in the video an answering Reddit questions, there was a situation where I'm not... I don't really remember, but if you watch the video, you will know exactly what I, the person was asking. But I was basically saying that ask as many questions if you're in a relationship. It doesn't matter. I've learned this. So ask as many questions. If you're afraid to ask a certain question, you already know the answer to. 
you just don't want to face it and make it a reality. But now I know personally that just ask the damn question. And if they don't, if they answer what you expect they're gonna answer and it's in the more negative side, then let them leave, let them go. It's okay, it, they don't wanna be with you. That's the thing. If they don't wanna work it out, if they don't wanna be with you, then what's the point? But anyways, I'm straying from the quote. Yeah, so everyone makes mistakes and everybody, uh, people have to learn how to forgive. And it sucks because some people hold on to grudges. So, story time. It was my second love. Um, this person, I didn't fall in love with him until later. It was just very complicated. Like, this story is extremely complicated. And Jessica knows exactly, and also my other friend, Sarah. But anyways, um, I made a mistake, and I owned up to it. And I told him about it after we like got back together. I told him I'm very sorry about what I did and so on and so forth. And I, and I understood and I woke up that what I was doing was not nice. And I grew from that, felt that he became more like very resentful towards me, even though he said he still liked me and he was wanting to be with me as well. Um, he was very resentful and he just kept bringing it up all the time and unfortunately now i understand that he brought it up all the time because it hurt him and because he wanted to say like oh look you see it's not the same anymore i'm not that person or blah blah, blah. my situation has um changed and i get that and i understand that i hurt him very very deeply but i also I also didn't just say I'm sorry, I actually showed him and I was very different because that was the real me. I was just in a weird place back then and I met him at a time that I shouldn't have met him. He became very resentful and I was just horrible because he hurt me a lot. It was just hurting each other and it was just bad, so yeah. I forgave him. I forgave everything he's done to the last time I spoke to him. I forgave everything. I, I'm, it's it's over, you know? I don't want to think about it. I don't want to dwell on it. I don't want to because it only hurts. Because one, I really did love him. And if he doesn't believe that, well, that's on him. But I truly did love him. And um, yeah, I know he's a human. I'm human, we're all human. We all make mistakes and we grow from that. And but sometimes people don't really believe. It sucks because there are people out there that actually fake being like realizing what they did and then they just keep doing the same thing. But like, this wasn't the case for me and it just didn't work out. For the next one, it's top 12 signs it's time to move on from a relationship. And I'm gonna go through all of them. There's gonna be 12, and I'm going to be like, all right, it's true or not true, maybe true, yes, true, not true. It's Number one, it's when you live in the past memories more than the present. I agree. I definitely 100% agree. Let me know in the comment section if you agree. So number one, I agree. If you don't agree, let me know. Agree or disagree, it doesn't matter. Let me know. Play along with me. So number two is when the relationship brings you more pain than more pain than joy. That is the number one sign. Like for me at least. Um if the relationship brings you more pain. So how I realized I needed to move on from my last relationship was not my last one, my previous one. Uh, I went from dance practice and I was walking home and I started feeling that pain, that heartbreak. And I was like, wait a damn minute. I don't want to go through this again. I've been here, I've hurt, and I'm not doing this again. Even though I was, ugh, I, I get too much chances, like I can't. When I realized um, this is not good for me. It's not good for me. My emotions are all over the place. This is horrible. I, it, it, Number three, when he, she expects you to change. Oh my God. 
That's true. That's so true. So there was another relationship that I had. It's a relationship because it didn't really last long. Oh, he's so cute. Mm. He was very cute. Anyways, I was very defensive. I'm not sure what he, like he kept saying I was very defensive of what he was saying or to this day I still don't understand no I still don't understand I'm trying to understand I used to think about it a lot and I used to be like wait a minute I'm trying to understand what he would say oh uh you need to stop doing that blah 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 and I'm like okay I'll try to stop like I was I listened to him I was like I'll try to stop but then a few moments later or later that day he would tell me I told you you, you need to stop doing that First of all, honey, you, I can't just stop something that I've been probably doing my whole damn life. It's gonna probably take a long time and it make, and I need to be aware when I'm doing it so I can correct it. You can't just stop doing it out of nowhere. That's part of your personality. Or at least, when I say personality, I mean as in you being maybe, you're taking things too seriously or you're being too nice to someone that doesn't deserve it things like that i don't mean like habits or anything like that or if you keep biting your nails or blah blah, blah. i'm talking about personality like something that you're probably doing all the time and you just don't know you just don't know so yeah how can you do that like no 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 it was more i i rebelled more because more of it was more of an order. It wasn't of a suggestion or telling me in a nice, kind way, like, hey, listen, blah, blah, blah. You should stop doing this because of blah, 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 blah. It was more of an order, and I don't do well with orders. Don't f order me around. Who the hell do you think you are? Bye. Number four, when you stay on expecting he and she will change. So, yes, another one, I agree. So, oh, it's mostly giving the person excuses all the time. And... There is a, such a thing of being too understanding and that sucks because people think of it as, oh, I can just walk all over her and she she doesn't really care. She's very little about easy or whatever the case may be. But yeah, if you expect the person to change all the time, like, oh, if she cheats, if he cheated on you, you take him back, that's on you. You guys know the relationship, I can't judge. But if you expect him to change and he keeps on cheating and you know this is a returning pattern, He's not going to change. This is something I learned too. Oh, here it comes again. When you keep justifying his or her actions to yourself. Same thing, giving the person excuses all the time. Like, oh, he was just too busy. He didn't want to do it. Or, oh, he, he had a hard day, blah, 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 this and that. Oh, blah, 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 blah. But just remember that even though he had a hard day, even though he was really busy, even though he can go poop, he can text you. He can send that damn text or um when he's having a bad day or something like that and he goes play video games like hello he prioritized video games more than you so like which one do you think he likes more the video games it's just all about priorities and if someone's not your first priority that's fine i mean the person shouldn't be your whole world but you should be in the category of priorities like hello you're important six when he she is causing you emotional physically and verbal hurts yes uh -huh. that is a huge move on from everything number seven when the same situation or issue uh reoccurs even though you try to address it so yeah same pattern comes up and if they say oh you keep bringing up the past or you keep bringing blah, blah, blah. no honey i keep bringing up something that keeps happening all the time that keeps reoccurring same action same shit just different scenario of course i'm gonna bring it up and the fact they have the audacity to continue doing it after you try to address it or try to have a conversation with this person like that number eight when she or he puts a little to no effort in the relationship so yes i agree and this happens a lot in relationships where it's this whole push and pull where it's like fun and if there's a, there's always one-sided relationships some, some some of them there are sorry hold on there are one-sided relationships and it kind of sucks because the other person might be just a take 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 and the other person is a giver 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 
So I mean, if it works, it works, but I don't think it works because the giver is always is going to get tired at some point. Either it's one year in a relationship, two years in a relationship, or even a month in a relationship. It really depends. So if you're the person that's always putting effort in doing this, it sucks and it will not work. And it means that they are just takers. And I mean, this happens in friendships too. It reminds me of my first love. Yo. <laughs> yeah. Number nine. When your fundamental values and beliefs are different. Agreed. When your beliefs are different, it doesn't work. But there's an exception. You might have two different belief systems, but if each other respects each other's belief systems and is willing to learn and to accept and respect the other person's um, belief systems, it definitely can work. It can work. It just needs to be both parties. Because if it's just one party is doing it, you know, the party's like, no, you need to become this because this is this and this. You can't force your beliefs on someone unless they want to convert into those beliefs. But you just can't do that. It's, it's, it sucks. You can't just do that. That's horrible. Ooh, why are you so entitled for another person to convert into your religion or your belief system like in this world there's nothing right or wrong it's just perspective number 10 when the relationship holds you back and preventing you from and preventing both of you from growing as individuals that's true you guys should uh yeah that's definitely true you guys need to grow together and just motivate each other and yo relationships are hard man Ugh, thank god i'm not in one number 11 when you stay on the expecting things to get better quote unquote things are not gonna get better honey sorry it's not gonna get better if this is gonna keep going and you're just gonna keep on getting hurt and um you're not gonna blossom as an individual you're taking up space and you're not freeing up space for you or the universe to align you with someone that is more compatible with you and I know it sucks to let go and it sucks for it to change but sometimes it just has to happen it has to happen get rid of that bad and embrace the new can you just imagine like just thinking about it now that now that I'm thinking like my mindset right now I'm excited to be the next person I'm going to date I'm excited for that so that's what I look forward to. I don't don't want to think about my past relationship as much. I mean, it comes up, of course, but I'm excited. That's how that's how I see it. I switch my perspective and I and I'm like, I'm excited to meet that next person. Who is it gonna be? I don't know. Number twelve. When neither of you feel the same way about each other. Hell yeah. And that's hard to talk about. Like to sit down as adults and be like hey listen it's not this it's not the same anymore i don't have the same feelings anymore um i gave it a try i, I tried to but i couldn't and it just sucks oh god memories it sucks and you just gotta let it go as much as you want to keep holding on and try it on and try to show them that you're different or show them that you have grown or anything like that I'm talking from experience no, I'm joking. Yeah, definitely true. There's a game called, it's a Reddit game. It's called Pick a Number. And I put them all in, literally in all this little, this little cup. And I'm just going to be picking a randomly and I'm going to answer truthfully. So there's all types of questions. There's the like basic questions. There's like lifestyle questions. There's some, um, um, some sexual questions so yeah stay tuned for that that's in the next video that's in the next sunday video yeah okay thank you bye guys have a wonderful day